Hello, this is Spike, and today I'm gonna show you how to level up from level 1 to 24. Or, I'm gonna tell you at least. Now, in this video I'm not gonna show you very much, I'm gonna tell you a few tips, I'm gonna tell you where to level, and... Well, the basic information that new players don't normally know. And uh, to start off, click M to start open your map. Uh, when you start up, you're either gonna start in Priority Town, that's for archers or um yeah archers or uh, barriers. In Mana Ridge, mages and clerics will spawn. Uh, it's basically the same thing, both of towns, and there's uh, basic dungeons in these two first um, areas, or instances, if you like. For the first nine levels, I believe, you're gonna stay in your first town, Mana Ridge or Priority Town, and do the main quests there. That's the yellow quest, and when you spawn the first time, after rescuing some little kid or whatever, you are gonna want to start the main quest, the yellow quest, and follow the arrow and do what it says. Now, when you're done uh, with level 9, you're gonna go... Oh, let me go open the map again. You are gonna get some quests to talk some, to some guy in Crystal Scream, and after that, you're going to Kaldorag Village. Now, you're basically done with Mana Ridge and Priority Town. From level 9 and up, uh, you are for the most part going to stay in Kaldorag Village. And that's where you're going to stay until level 24, at least. Depends on how you level from there. Uh, max level right now is 32, and previously it was 24. So, uh, let me show you some tips. Click on U to open your quest menu. Here you can see the main quest, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, you can see and read where to go, what to do in each of these. They will add as you go. Chapter 1, 2 and 3, I mean chapter 1 is in Manor Ridge I believe, chapter 2 and 3 is in Calrog Village and chapter 4 is in Saint Heaven, that's over level 24. So, this guide is going to concentrate on these three. And you can do side quests. You get them from NPCs all around in each town or some places in instances or outside instances. Alongside getting these side quests, you can do them. You should. You can add them and if they are on the path you are to do your main quest, they will give you extra XP or money or whatever they give. Or of course they will give some EXP. Now, you shouldn't be too concentrated on your side quests. So, concentrate on your main quest, main quest and add some side quests to it. Now, I'm gonna do some basic here. After level 9, you're gonna stay... You're gonna open a whole new set of dungeons. Um, you get new main or you get new main quests in Calrog Village, and you keep doing them. And when you're done, you should be about level 11 to 12. When you're done with the 11 to 12 quests, you go to you go, got to be level 16 to continue the main quest. So there you have like four levels about about four levels that you don't have any main quests to do. Now, you can do side quests, or you can grind dungeons with side quests, that's totally up to you. Now, to figure out what dungeons to do, you should click L on your keyboard, and go to dungeons. Here you can see all the dungeons in the game, and where they are located. And you can see what level range they are from. The level range means what quests they are for, basically. Um, so... Let's say you're level 12 and you need somewhere to farm. I would suggest you farm Forest Sanctuary. That's a really good dungeon compared to Forest of Death, for example. Now, outside every 
dungeon beside the first level 9 dungeons, I believe. Or no. Before level 8, I believe, to be exact. Um, there will be board quests. Board quests give punches, which you can sell to NPCs, and a good amount of EXP. Pick up these each time you go into a dungeon and check what they are so that you make sure you do it or you get the quest. You can then deliver the quest to the same board outside the same dungeon or you can deliver it to a board inside, uh, I mean, uh, inside a town. This is a board I'm showing you here right now. Commission board. Now, uh, that's basically it, I guess. Just so you know, you're gonna have daily quests when you level up, so make sure you check out those as well. Um, well, that's... what level did we get to? Okay, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Sanctu Forest Sanctuary, then to four, from 14 and up. Where is that? Here we go, Sleeper's Temple. That's my favorite. You can do Raiders Ambush Points if you like, but I like Sleeper's Temple, so do Sleepers. Uh, sleepers, I believe, you will find here in Lover Ridge. And the first one I said from level 14 and up, will you find here in Great Ruins. Now, from there, now, now you're level 16 and you will have the main quest again. So you do those, you do side quests, and well, you keep grinding basically. Again, you can do check here. I mean, Catabombs and Church Ruins, they give you board quests, of course. They are level 16 plus, as you can see here. And from. And those, after those, you're gonna get to level 18. When you get 18, it's quite easy. I mean, all this way, you can join random parties with the same level range to grind dungeons, or you can find someone to boost you. A lot of high level people will want to boost you, to be honest, because they can benefit from it. I'm not going to go into that now. Um, from level 18, you're going to get Dark Magic Institute. Dark Tower Magic Institute. This is a very fast dungeon to grind, and a lot of people uh, both farm and grind there all the time. So, this is definitely the best way to get from level 18 to 22. Now, from 22, you can either keep doing this one, Dark Magic Tower, to 24, or you can change to Sanctuary Core. I'm just going to show you Dark Magic Institute. You can find that here in Blizzard Plain. Now, the next one, going back to Grey Ruins here, is Sanctuary Core. Uh, that's the best EXP, to be honest, from level 22 to 32. I'm not going to go into that now, but at least it's a very good dungeon to do if you have decent enough gear or a decent party from 22 to 24. So I think that about covers it. Um, keep in mind, just a little overview here. Do commission boards, do side quests. Don't follow the side quests unless they are, unless you have spare time or unless you want to do something else. Follow the main quest, and if the side quest happens to be in the same dungeons, you're lucky and you get it. Always remember to pick up those boards, check where your dungeons are or what in the level range the dungeons are, and you can also see where they are, of course, as I said. Uh, you will have to find them and remember where they are yourself, but I just told you where the best ones are until level 24. Now... I think that about to cover it. Click U once again to open your main quest and side quest. Just so you know, keep that in mind, you can max out your side quests. So, I mean, uh, you can have so many side quests on your list that you can't add more. I am about max at the moment, so... I guess there's about 30 or 40 quests right here. 30, I guess. Okay, I think that will cover it from this video. Thank you for watching. Hope I can help a lot of you level up faster. And I'll see you guys next time.